back to Moments of Encouragement. I'm your host, Mia Imani, and we're here with Brett E. Vincent, <laughs> actor, model, host, mm. and entrepreneur. Mm. Sounds He's good. all that. <laughs> and a bag of chips. <laughs> but we want to talk with you about your entrepreneurship, speak at 247.com. Tell me, how did you get that started? What's this all about? And everything you want me to know about it. Okay, uh, this is something that I know very well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, um, Speak It 24-7, it's, it's a movement. It's actually Success Speak It 24-7.com. Um, it, it's a movement based around, one, um, I've been branded as the most positive actor in Georgia. Okay. And if you Google me, if you Google that, it comes right up. Um, but it, it's based around a movement of speaking what you want into your life versus speaking about what you have already in your life that you don't want. Mm -hmm. And so along with that, you know, is um, the motivational speaking that I do from time to time, uh, the hosting. It's just a, it's an overall way of life more mm -hmm. so than just a brand. Mm -hmm. It's just a way of... Every time something challenging comes into your life, finding ways to place that into a positive or, you know, if, um, if you didn't get a certain job to put yet on the end of your sentence, I didn't get that job yet or I didn't get that, um, that role yet or I didn't get with that company, that, with, that, um, with that agent yet. So it, it's just a way that, you know, and I've got the success bands that are coming out soon on speaking247.com. Okay. And it's just it's just one of those things if you're having, you know, a challenging day, a lot of people have challenging days at work. Definitely. And uh, I was at, you know, many jobs where just my thought process that was growing into being so positive just wasn't, you know, vibing necessarily with um, some of the people that I was working with. And I've been fired. So, I mean, I, I'm not, just like y'all, I've been fired many times. Okay, and, that's nothing new. <laughs> it, was just, it was one of those things where... It happened. Yeah, God was telling me that, you know, the the standard 9 to 5, Not there's nothing wrong with it, because right. both of my parents, mm -hmm. you know, they worked 9 to 5s their, their whole lives. My dad was a, a teacher at Marietta Middle School. And my mom worked with uh, with Bell South for about thirty some odd years. Okay, a lot of people are successful yeah, with the nine to five, absolutely. but there are those who have a calling on their lives that have to do different things. Yeah, it was just one of those things where it's like like I wear contacts, and if you if you have a, a little eyelash in your contact, mm -hmm. you can still see. But it's like every time you blink, you know that it's just not quite right. Exactly. And that was that was something that God was kind of like pulling me, okay. pulling me out of. That's a great um, analogy. And I thank you so much for uh, creating this um, this the name of your business because it goes back to the Word of God when it says, "Speak to those things that are not absolutely. as if they though they were." Absolutely. And to speak it twenty four seven is what you're saying to everyone. Success, speak it 24 7 into your life and it will come to pass. Whatever you want, speak it. And you know, the Word of God also says that uh, the power of the tongue has life yes. and death. Yes. That's in the power of the tongue. Yes. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, okay? Y'all understand what we're saying. Exactly. Okay, that's not what the Bible I'm paraphrasing, okay? <laughs> Because we have critics that will say, that's not how it goes. Uh -huh. But understand that there's power in your words. There's power in the tongue that we speak with. So I Absolutely. appreciate that because there's so many people, young and seasoned people, that need to hear a young achiever such as yourself, Brett, say that I spoke this into my life. I speak what I want into my life on a daily basis because so many people are searching and they don't know how or where to find it at. Mm -hmm. And it starts with self. Absolutely. You have to speak it into existence. And as you stated when we first started the interview, is that you have to pray. That was very, very important for our audience to hear that prayer works. 
Yes. Prayer yes. works. Yes. <laughs> you have to pray. Yeah. And God hears you. He hears the voice of the righteous one. And you have a pure heart. I already feel your spirit. But God heard that prayer. And he began to open doors for you that you had no idea would yeah. open up for you. And because of all that you are accomplishing today, I can see that his favor is on you. And with that favor, we were talking about you being a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that as well. Is that incorporated in Success Speak It 24-7? Yeah, um, it is. It, it's, it's one of those things where kind of like my area that I like to focus is is the youth in college. Um, okay. I, got, I got really involved um, at Georgia College at my time there. And, you know, I was, you know, baseball, uh -huh. fraternity, homecoming king, SGA, all uh -huh. those kind of things. And, and it, really, it really made me um, kind of fall in love with encouraging that age group. Wow. Um, because during that time, you know, I was really looked at as... Uh, as a leader there, mm -hmm. and I've got some great, you know, some great connections that I still like to go back and visit there. And Wonderful. So I've gone back um, a few times to speak to some of the graduating seniors in different class mm -hmm. um, at Georgia College and State University. Awesome. And then um, also done some work at my uh, at my friend's church, mm -hmm. um, Alexander Brown. <laughs> and um, he, he, like I was saying before, he's a youth pastor mm -hmm. at uh, Fresh Start Ministries. Okay. Right. And um, and I've done some work there when they were getting up and running. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really, I'm just really blessed to be around some great people.